Question number 10, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, Mr Speaker, this question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he stand by his statement in November last year that refugees, and I quote him, go through a proper vetting process and a lot of work is done to establish that they are genuine refugees, end of quotes, and if so, why? The Right Honourable Mr. Prime Speaker, Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, yes, because I believe it to be true. Supplementary question. A supplementary question, Right Honourable Winston Peters. Well, if that's the case, why under National were almost 1,600 visa applications approved when officials knew the applicants would subsequently apply for refugee or protection status when they got into New Zealand? The S Right Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. Um, maybe, maybe wrong, I'm sure if I am, the member will be able to correct me in his future supplementaries, but I suspect that he's not talking about people that came through the UNHCR programme, which is what the quote I, I gave was about. Then he's talking about people that are coming and seeking asylum at the airport, I suspect. Supplementary question, right honourable Winston Peters. Bearing that, they're not, bearing that they're not seeking asylum at the airport, but rather coming in on visas, like visitors or students or temporary uh, waivers, if there's a proper vetting process, why did this government approve almost 900 visitor visas for non-genuine applicants who claimed after they'd got here and were in New Zealand refugee or protection status? The right on the uh, Prime Minister. Uh, okay, let me help the member through this. He's obviously a bit confused. Um, the UNHCR program. Order. Point of order, Speaker. Order. Point of order, the Mr. right Speaker, the uh, Prime Minister can't start off with an insult. I have got the document. I've got the documentation from the department, so it's not a matter of confusion. I'm just asking him to explain. And in his first opening answer, he pointed to people who were refugees on a UN type list. I'm talking about people who've come here with a temporary visa, and then after they've been here a week or two months, then apply for order. status. Order. Well, that, I'll hear from the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, it's well known in this House that uh, the supplementary questions follow the primary question. The primary question was solely about the UNHCR programme. Yeah. Order. There's, no, there's been a, a subsequent supplementary ask that uh, is certainly in order. Um, I don't think the Prime Minister was derogatory or insulting in any way with the start to the answer, but he, he only got a few words out before the member took his point of order. I think time has gone. Uh, I'm going to invite the member to ask the question again to get some coherence, and then we'll await the answer. Uh, Prime Minister, if there is, in his words, a proper vetting process, in a quotes, why did his government approve almost 900 visitor visas for non-genuine applicants who claimed refugee or protection status well after they got into New Zealand. The Right Honourable Speaker, Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, well, firstly, uh, under the uh, refugee programmes that are run through the UNHCR, there is, as I said in my quote, a very, very thorough process that we go through, and that includes assessment carried out by UNHCR, uh, assessments made onshore and offshore by Immigration New Zealand, references to uh, other intelligence and our Five Eyes partners. Mr Speaker, there are some people that come to New Zealand under another category and claim a refugee or asylum here in New Zealand. Those, those numbers are significantly less under this government than when the member asking the question was a minister. So this government's done a better job in that category. So, supplementary, supplementary question. Right, Honourable Winston Peters. If our vetting process is, to quote him, proper, in a quotes, and ensures, quotes, genuine applicants are applying for refugee status, why has this government approved, and this is the third category, almost 160 applicants who arrived on a limited purpose and transit visa, and then long after they got here, applied for that refugee status? The Speaker. Right Honourable Prime Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, the member will need to direct those sorts of questions at the Minister of Immigration because the, minister, the member asked me a question specifically about the UNHCR programme. If he wants to try and be a little bit silly, then he should go and ask a proper first question. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Uh, given, Prime Minister, that no mention was made about the UN refugee programme, if under National, Immigration New Zealand knew almost 1,600 visa applications were not genuine, not related to the UN or to Big Ears, 
Why did they grant those visas in the first place? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. The member will need to direct that question to the Minister of Immigration and have that fact. But, Mr Speaker, what I do know uh, on the advice of the Minister of Immigration is the numbers are considerably less under this government than when the member was a minister. Question number 11.